Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you something very, very interesting today. I've been talking a lot about vibe coding, context engineering, etc. Um, creating apps, you know, whatever. So, for example, we made SEO Grove. If you're interested in SEO Grove, feel free to sign up to the waiting list. We're pretty much ready with it now. But this entire thing was vibe coded. What I want to show you is how I did the SEO for these pages. So if I just go on here on resources and show you SEO checklist, you might think this just looks like a random page, but it was actually, there was an entire thought process behind this. It's completely free, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it right now. Now, this was already available in the school community on the building production ready apps, but you know, um, not everyone has access to the school community. If you do want to join the school community just to support me or if just you want this information before you see it in a video or you just want a bit more help with this kind of stuff, definitely feel free to join the school. It'll be the first link in the description of this video. Now, let's get into how this works. So Grove or SEO Grove, whatever the hell it's called, it's a Shopify SEO tool, right? So I want to rank for Shopify SEO tool keywords, right? So this is pretty nuts, right? Traffic is good, landing pages... Uh, are great. My exact method is coming towards the end. And like I said before, I get the full method on school. Um, so yeah, Grove is a AI powered Shopify agentic system that basically creates content, creates collections, whatever for people automatically. But how did I do the SEO for this? And is it working? So if I go on here, this is uh, SEO Grove, right? 231 impressions, two clicks, uh, 76 clicks. A lot of them are obviously just people searching SEO Grove. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of is to be expected. Shopify SEO checklist, Shopify SEO for beginners, right? Best SEO app for Shopify. How did I do this? Where did I get these keywords from? And how can you apply this to your own AI generated applications? So I am an SEO, just so you know, so I have a lot of experience in this, but I'm going to show you very simple things. So first of all, you do need a sitemap or a basic sitemap. Once you have your live website, the first thing you want to do is set up search console. Right, Search Console is very, very easy to set up. You just go add a property, put a domain here, add a little text uh, verification thing to your DNS, and then you, within seconds, you're, you'll be uh, verified. Once you're verified, you should submit your sitemap here, and the first thing you should always do is you should get your homepage indexed. Another thing I always recommend to people, I'm just going through this very, very quickly. This is all in the school community already. Um, this probably isn't here, actually. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to do this on Bing. I'm going to import from Search Console here. This is an extremely important step. You'll be surprised how many clicks you can get from Bing. I have a website that gets basically zero clicks on anything else, um, but gets 300 clicks a month from Bing specifically, right? So let's just add this. I expect this to get a decent amount of clicks and a decent amount of traffic, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if Bing was suddenly the best um, income stream or like, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Old audience stream for Grove very, very soon. We'll leave this. We'll see how it does, but they're the two things that I recommend. Now, once you've done that, you want to make some pages, right? How do you make these pages? So what I do is I use keyword tool.io. You can use any keyword tool that you want. However, specifically this keyword tool is good because it uses something called phrase match. Now, if you don't know what phrase match is, basically anything that you write here will have to be in the keyword, um, like a direct match. So I wrote Shopify SEO. So all of these have to be exact matches. Shopify SEO has to be in every single one of these keywords, right? So something like Google Ads Keyword Tool, by the way, just so you know, is broad match, um, which can be good as well i would probably run it through both to be honest with you i wouldn't just run it through um keyword tool i'd run it also through google adwords right all you need to do is think of two to three to four words that distinguish what you're trying to find from your searches or how you think people will find you so i've got shopify seo plugin so pretty much anything related or like 90 percent of search terms that are Shopify SEO or have Shopify SEO in them will be good keywords for us. So just while I'm here, I also want to do this on Google Ads Keyword Planner, just because why not, right? So the United States here. We'll see how the results compare. I'd actually be very, very interested in this. But yeah, this is how I actually did it. So let me just show you, right? You can see here Shopify SEO checklist. 
It's almost like I'm a I'm a fortune teller or a wizard, right? Because if I go on here and go to performance, look at the best performing keyword. I couldn't have written that better myself. It's an exact um, match for this keyword. Now, how the hell did I do this, right? And then another one, look, Shopify SEO for beginners. I guarantee this is somewhere. There it is. It's taken the exact keyword that I gave it and it's put it into on, onto a page and then that is now ranking. I wonder if this was from here. No, it wasn't. Okay. So that was one that I just made up myself. Here we go. Best Shopify SEO app. Like the fact that we're even nearly ranking for that. Like imagine if we're ranking in like, like well for this keyword. Okay. So it, this keyword has died, unfortunately. But okay. So you have your keyword, right? Let's just see what it came up with here. Uh, th these are decent, actually. Decent. Mm. This is good. This is okay. Some of these are good. Some of these are not so good. I would probably, I probably prefer the the phrase match for this one, but you might want to look here just in case, right? There might be something here that doesn't come up there that would actually be worth your time. It's just, you know, you have to kind of have a look, right? Okay. So how do I do this? So you take the keyword, you can take the list of keywords, or you can pick and choose, I'd say maybe 15, 20, right? And then when you're at the point where you've built yourself a uh, back end, right? So you've got your back end, you've got your uh, front end, which is probably just a home page and a few other pages, right? You put all of this into Claude code, all of your design patterns, everything, right? And you literally just vibe code. You say, create me a page on my website for, um, where is this? Okay, so this will, this looks like it might be a little bit fucked up. The reason for that, just so you know, is just because we changed, um, we changed CSS halfway through, right? So this is a bad example, but if I go on, for example, beginner's course, right? I just literally said to Claude code, take my CSS, take my JavaScript, take everything, right? And turn this into, um, a Shopify SEO for beginners page. The key things here are H1 and uh, meta title and meta description, right? That they are all fully phrase matched, right? So Shopify SEO for beginners was the keyword. You can see uh, Shopify SEO, or is it Shopify SEO for beginners, right? So you take the phrase match and you tell it to put in the meta title phrase match, right? Also in the title phrase match, right? And then just, you know, going further down, just make sure it's just a nice, interesting HTML, CSS, JavaScript page. You can see this is actually a genuinely useful page for people, right? And this is where people sometimes land on uh, this website in order for us to make a sale maybe or get people into the ad system, whatever it might be. And that's it. This is how I managed to vibe code my SEO using Claude code for my application, my AI application that I've created, seogrove.ai. I'll leave the video there, guys. I think this is important to know as part of the process because a lot of people, they can make the app, but they don't know how to market the app. We're probably going to be doing a lot more things on marketing the app as well. We've got AI ads running and, you know, all that good stuff. So we'll definitely be making some more content on that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school if you want to support me or if you just want to check it out. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.